السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس ویلکم بیک ٹو دی انٹرمیڈیٹ اکاؤنٹنگ کلاس اور ٹوڈے ڈسکشن از اباؤٹ دی ریکارڈنگ ٹرانزیکشن ان ٹو جنرل جورنل اور ان ادر ورلڈس پوسٹنگ ٹرانزیکشن فرام لیجر ٹو فرام جورنل ٹو لیجر ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹ لیجر وٹ ڈز لیجر مین لیجر از دی کلاسیفائڈ آر دی کنڈنس اکاؤنٹنگ سسٹم یا ریکارڈنگ سسٹم ہیئر وی ول ریکارڈ آل دی بزنس اکاؤنٹس وچ آر اویلیبل ان جنرل جورنل سپریٹلی یعنی مین دس از اے کلاسیفائڈ سسٹم فار ایچ اکاؤنٹ ڈٹ وی ول ہیو ان جنرل جورنل وی ول میک اے سپریٹ لیجر for that ledger is a t shape mm, t shape uh, uh, account here and in this t shape uh, the left hand side is the debit side and the right hand side is the credit side if you see over here so this is a t shape this is a t shape see this cash one uh, we have a t shape like for example account and uh, this t shape is having uh, some important things like it is having the debit and credit record um, and on the debit and credit column the left side is debit side right hand side is the credit side and uh, also it have a title so each ledger should have a title if you see each t shape over here in this page so each t shape is having uh, their own title their own like for example name if you see over here we have like for example cash we have deadman capital we have rent expenses we have salary expenses we have supply expenses we have gman uh, yeah gaman account receivable so all of these are like for example different accounts that we will have in this business and all these accounts has taken from the general journal if you see so we have like for example a cash account over here so this cash account is having a separate ledger at the same way we will have like for example the deadman capital so we will have a deadman capital ledger over there like for example we have rent expenses so the rent expenses um, ledger is like for example this one so for each account uh, like for example deadman account receivable so it is available over there like juni brow account receivable uh. so for the juni brow we will have a separate uh, ledger account so each ledger is having two side which are the debit side and the credit side and each t shape is having their own um, title dear students uh, we will um, post all the accounts from um, journal to ledger so each account uh, will have their own amount if the amount is available in debit side at general journal so we will record the same amount in ledger at the same side like for example if you see over here the cash amount is 50000 in this general journal so we should record this the same account 50000 at the cash column within the debit record because cash is available at the debit side so this is equal to 50000 rupees so we will record it at uh, the debit side so that's why we may say that each account will have uh, their own uh, uh, amount and we will record the same amount at the same column at ledger the process through which we will carry all the amounts from journal journal to ledger is called posting transaction and this t shape is having like for example it is like a mm, um, measurement tool uh, here we will make both the side equal 
it is you are like a shopkeeper if someone is asking for one kilo um, sugar so at one side of the uh, uh, the like for example measurement tool you will put the um, the uh, amount of one kg and another side you will put the sugar until and unless that both the side become equal so at the same way it is our responsibility to put all the accounts over here and finally we will make both the side equal so let's to start this practice our list to post transaction from general journal to the leisure account so dear student if you see over here we have like for example cash over here in this business the amount of cash is 50,000 rupees so these 50,000 we should record at the debit it is a debit record so we should record it at the debit side so let's do record 50,000 at debit side 50,000 under the cash ledger so this is the cash ledger this is the cash ledger and this is debit side so now we have recorded 50,000 at the debit side okay dear students 50,000 50,000 cash dear students if you see over here we have one another account which are the furniture account furniture so this furniture account this furniture account is having a debit balance or a debit record of 10,000 rupees so we will take these 10,000 and we will record that at the debit side of the furniture so if you see over here if you see over here we are having furniture the furniture ledger huh? with this is the debit side of the ledger account and this is the credit side of this ledger and these are the furniture title so dear students uh, let's to record the furniture amount which are 10,000 if you see over here under the furniture ledger and within the debit record so see dear students uh, with under the furniture ledger the under the debit column i will write down that the furniture amount uh, were equal to 10000 rupees it was equal to 10000 uh, dollars or rupees now we have one another account in the general journal which are the machinery account so machinery is having also a debit amount a yeah, debit record of 50000 so come to the machinery uh, ledger this is the machinery ledger this is its debit side and this is its credit side so we will record the transaction the amount of money under this machinery ledger within the debit record so we will have a record of the machinery at the debit column so see dear student the machinery amount were equal to 50,000 rupees so we have recorded the same amount under the machinery column at the debit side machinery ledger now we will record the dead man capital so the dead man capital is available yeah it is having a place at the credit side of the business so that's why we will take these 110,000 and we will record that uh, over here at the um, deadman uh, under the deadman ledger uh, at the credit side so we will record it over here so see dear student uh, let's to record the 110,000 rupees uh, under the credit column uh, at the treatment ledger now we will move towards the second uh, uh, like for example on the second uh, uh, debt yeah the next debt 
where we will have uh, rent expenses salary expenses and supply expenses so we have like for example different ledger for all these three different accounts so, so like for example uh, the rent expenses ledger is over here the salary expenses ledger is this one and the supplies expenses ledger is this one so we will record the all these three accounts and their separate ledgers so let's to record first of all about the rent expenses rent expenses amount is 6000 rupees and these 6000 rupees is is under the debit record so we should take these 10000 6000 rupees to the rent expenses uh, um, ledger and we will record that at over here at the debit record because the money is available at the debit side so let's to record the rent expenses at the debit side so rent expenses is equal to 6000 rupees at the debit side now dear students we have some salary expenses amount the salary expenses amount is like for example 20000 rupees this is salaries amount so we will take the salary amount and we will record at the salary expenses column salary expenses column at the debit record so here we will record this transaction so let's to record it over here at the salary expenses mm, ledger so the amount is equal to 20,000 AFN this is the salary expenses ledger now dear students we will move towards the next transaction which is the cash transaction and cash is available at the credit column amount is available at the credit column so we have already uh, created the cash ledger if you see over here so we should take this 27000 rupees this amount which are available at the credit side which are available at the credit side so we will take this to the um, cash ledger and we will record it over there at the credit side so we will record it over here at the credit column or under the cash ledger so now dear students uh, we will record it uh, under the cash ledger at the credit side and the amount is equal to 27,000 rupees 27,000 rupees okay great now we will move towards the January 22nd uh, uh, journal debt on which we have recorded the account receivable from German account receivable for Juni Brau and account receivable from Deadman and also the sale amount so dear students first of all we should develop or we should make we should draw the account receivable ledger for German so see we have already um, the German account receivable ledger okay one thing that we have missed is the supply expenses uh, at the January 5 so now um, we will record the supply expenses the supply expenses uh, which is available um, over here at the supply expenses ledger so if you see the supply expenses is available at the debit side so we will take all these supply expenses and we will record at the under the supply expenses ledger within the debit record column so let's to record this amount over here amount is equal to thousand rupees and this thousand rupees is the supply expenses and we will record it over here at the debit column so let's to record supply expenses which is equal to thousand rupees okay great thousand rupees now we will move towards the another type uh, another debt which are the German account receivable dear students German account receivable is uh, having a ledger and uh, we have 5000 amount at the debit record 
so we will record 5000 over here at the debit side under the demon account receivable ledger so let's do record it so the amount is equal to how much how much amount is available that's 5000 rupees so we will record 5000 under the German account receivable ledger okay dear students we also have uh, the juni brow account receivable so we have uh, already a ledger for juni brow account receivable and we will record their amount which are equal to 20000 uh, within the debit column so this is the debit column for the journey brow account receivable ledger and we will record the 20,000 over here uh, at the debit side so now let's to write down 20,000 20,000 as a account receivable for journey from journey brow dear students we have uh, also some uh, other ledger which are the like for example the deed man uh, account receivable ledger so this is the deed man account receivable ledger and we have 10,000 in amount at the debit side so here we will record the 10,000 rupees under the deed man uh, account receivable ledger within the debit column or debit record so let's to write down 10,000 as a debit record so 10,000 account receivable the debit side okay dear students we also have some uh, sell uh, over here the sell amount is uh, first of all we should develop the sell ledger so this is the uh, sell ledger dear student and uh, the amount is 17,000 but we should record this 17,000 rupees at the credit side so this is the sell ledger and we will record this amount at the um, credit record so let's do record 17,000 at the credit side so 17,000 rupees okay dear students uh, after that we have the BD account payable and the amount is equal to 5000 this is BD account payable so first of all we should draw the BD account payable ledger which we have already uh, like for example have the same ledger this is the uh, BD account payable ledger and BD account payable ledger is having an amount of 5000 at the debit side so we will record the account payable uh, bd account payable 5000 amount at the debit record so let's do record at the debit side so dear students amount is equal to 5000 a okay good now we have one another ledger by the name of the j brow account payable so this is the j brow account payable ledger and the amount is 6000 it is available at the debit side this is the debit record amount is available at the j brow account payable and list to record it so dear students j brow amount is 6000 rupees and available at the debit side okay dear students uh, we have the cash account over here or the cash amount over here if you see so cash is equal to 11,000 dear students uh, we should go to the cash ledger and it is available over here and the amount is 11,000 we should record these money at the uh, uh, credit side of the cash ledger so let's to find the cash ledger and uh, record these 11,000 at the credit side of the cash ledger so we will record the amount over here the cash amount which are 11,000 at the credit side of this ledger 
so cash is at the credit side and it is 11,000 so I will go to the cash ledger this is cash ledger and I will record write down 11,000 over here as a credit account okay now dear student uh, we have some the other accounts now dear students let's to record about the goods which is uh, also an account in general journal the amount of goods is uh, a debit side so we will record this under the goods good ledger the goods ledger at uh, the debit column so let's to record this transaction uh, this amount over here so the amount of goods is equal to 5000 rupees at debit record machinery is one another um, amount uh, cds students machinery this is machinery and its amount is 40000 it's, it's available at the debit column so we will record these at the under the machinery ledger so this is the machinery ledger and amount is available at debit side so we will record it over here at the debit column so let's to record it over here amount is equal to 40,000 rupees 40,000 rupees and then again we have cash amount uh, we have the uh, cash uh, account and the students uh, so we will record the cash account uh, um, into the cash ledger amount is equal to 45,000 so we have already a developed cash ledger it is over here so we will record this 45,000 at the credit side and I mean over here so let's to record it over here at the credit side the cash amount 45,000 so 45,000 at credit record 45,000 credit side great and finally we have the again the cash account but now it is at the debit side and it is 9600 so let's to record it over here at the debit side so this is the uh, sorry this is the cash ledger this is the debit side we will record 9600 over here at the cash ledger so see this is 9000 and uh, 600 at the uh, cash ledger debit side okay and finally we have two other transaction one of them is the commission account and commission account is 600 rupees at uh, the credit side so this is the commission ledger and we will record this 600 at the credit side of this ledger so let's to record it at the credit side 600 dollars and we also have the amount of dividend dividend account dividend account is 9600 and we will record this 9600 at the credit side of the dividend ledger so this is the credit side and we will record 9000 over here so this is 9000 rupees at the credit side of this ledger okay good dear students what you will do now we have posted all of these transaction from general journal to leisure our next step is we will add all these uh, accounts the amount of these accounts the amount which is available at the debit and credit column of each ledger this is the cash ledger so we will record the amount of the these which is available like for example at the debit side and also we will add this amount so those amount which are um, higher so we will write down at the uh, at their own place under these two lines 
and we will make yeah we will add the balance at those side which is having lack of the amount so let's to use the calculator from the um, uh, computer so see this is calculator and we have some amounts like for example 50,000 um, plus uh, 9600 so it is equal to uh, 59600 okay this side is equal to 59600 now we will add the other one i mean the next side which is uh, like for example uh, 27000 27000 and plus uh, 11000 plus 45000 so it is equal to 83000 dear student uh, in this uh, ledger we have uh, the two side the debit side and the credit side the debit side is having a balance of 59600 and the credit side is having a sum of balance of 83000 so dear we will write down the highest amount so let's to uh, record 83000 over here 83000 over here mm -hmm. 83000 we will make both the side equal so here we will also write down 83000 now what is our job so this side is equal to 83000 but the amount which is available over here it is equal to 90 59600 so what we will do we will find the difference between credit side and the debit side so let's to find the difference so 83000 is the credit record now we will deduct the debit side from that so our debit side is equal to 49600 rupees the difference between these two is 23400 we have like for example we need uh, 23400 rupees over here as a balance amount 23000 and 23400 is the difference between these two so dear students uh, we will put this in a circle we will put this amount in a circle and we will write down over here that it is a credit balance so c r balance so this is a credit balance this means the credit side is 23400 higher than the debit side okay we have done one thing now we will make these two sides equal so we have 10,000 over here but we have zero amount at the credit side so we will add these 11,000 over here we will write down 11,000 mm, uh, over here 11,000 and we will make this side equal with the other side so we want to put 11,000 over here too so we have put it 11,000 now here is a difference of sorry it's not 11 this is 10,000 so let's to remove this amount okay good now again we will add 10,000 over here 10,000 and also 10,000 over here this is the difference between these two these two is having a difference Mm, this is equal both the side become equal now we have lack of the 10,000 rupees at credit side so it is our job to make both the side equal so we should add 10,000 over here we will put these 10,000 in a circle or and we will write over here that it is a debit balance 
so now we will write down this is debit record balance so this is a debit balance the balance of debit record now if you see over here we have the machinery account it is equal to 50,000 amount is 50,000 at debit side but we do not have any amount and we have zero amount at credit side so it is again our job to make both the side equal uh, so let's to make it equal so to make it equal we should sum up both the credit and debit side so when we add the amount of debit side so we have found higher balance which uh, which was the 50,000 now we should make the both both of the side equal so we will add 50,000 over here as a new account amount 50,000 by adding this 50,000 with the mm, machinery credit balance we will make both the side equal if you see over here so now we can write over here write down that it is balancer of debit record this means that our debit side have higher balance than the credit side okay now we will uh, move towards the uh, deed man capital account we will add so here if you see at the deed man capital account we have like for example 11,000 1 lakh and 10,000 rupees at credit side but we have a zero balance at debit side so what we will do we will make both of these side in the credit side and credit um, debit side equal so to make it equal we will add the debit account so the debit account is equal to 10,000 rupees but the credit the debit side do not have balance so here it is our job to add 1 lakh and 10,000 rupees over here so to add 1 lakh and 10,000 rupees so our account become equal with one another so 1 lakh and 10,000 is was the difference or deficit at the debit side so we have added 1 lakh and 10,000 over here and now we will write down that it is a uh, our credit balance so balance of uh, credit record uh, now we will add we will make equal the rent expenses ledger both the credit and debit side so the debit side is having 6000 balance but there is zero balance at credit side so we will add we will write down over here 6000 6000 at the debit record and uh, also you will make equal the other side uh, equal to 6000 6000 so here is a difference of 6000 rupees so we will write down that we have added 6000 and this 6000 is uh, a balance of debit record so we will put this in a circle keep them in a circle and then we will write down over here that it is our debit balance yeah balance of debit record if you see the salary expenses ledger so we have 20,000 rupees at debit record but there is zero money at the credit side so we will add we will make equal both the side so to make them equal we need to add 20,000 rupees at the credit record so when we add the 20,000 rupees so both the side of the ledger become equal so we will have a 20,000 rupees balance over here and also a 20,000 20,000 rupees balance over here 20,000 rupees so dear students uh, we will put the 20,000 rupees uh, amount into a circle and we will write down over here that it is a balance of debit record uh, okay good 
now dear students we will go towards the supply expenses ledger and the supply expenses ledger we have 1000 rupees at debit side but we have 0 rupees at the credit side so we will add 1000 rupees over here to make them equal or to make them balance and we will put this in a circle we will write down that it is a balance of debit record so this is a balance of debit record and now we will add both the side so when we add the debit side the amount is equal to 1000 and if we add the credit side so again the amount is equal to 1000 now we will uh, add or uh, we will prepare the gman account receivable gman account receivable is having 5000 in debit side but having a zero balance at credit side that's why we will add 5000 over here too and we will put this 5000 in a circle and we will write down to it uh, that it is our mm, debit balance so we will write down the balance of debit record what is our job we will add the debit accounts and we will write the sum of all these accounts at debit side and we will add the credit amount and we will write down the uh, sum of these at the credit side let's do add over here and write down this amount so the gman account receivable debit balance is equal to 5000 rupees and also we have added 5000 as a balance at the gman account receivable at credit side so both the side is now equal see dear students what we will do now we will add the uh, juni brow account receivable juni brow account receivable ledger is having 20000 at debit side but having zero balance at credit side so first of all we will make yeah we will add 20000 rupees to his credit account and uh, when we add this 20,000 so we will put this in a circle and we will write down that it is a balance of um, debit record so we will add both the side now it is equal to both the side is equal to 20,000 rupees this is the credit ba debit balance and these 20,000 rupees is a uh, credit balance okay now we will uh, make equal the deedman account receivable ledger so if you see the deedman account receivable ledger is having 10,000 at debit side but 0 rupees at credit side so we should add 10,000 to its credit side we will put this amount into a circle we will write down to it that it is our uh, balance of debit record and now we will make we will sum up both the account mean the debit accounts and the credit amount so the debit amount is equal to 10,000 rupees and also the credit balance is also equal to 10,000 rupees now move towards the sale ledger so if you see the sale ledger we have 17,000 at credit side but we have zero money or zero amount at debit record so first of all we will add 17,000 at the debit record to make both the side equal to make the both, both the side balance equal so when we add the debit side so amount available at debit side is equal to 17,000 an amount available available at credit side is also equal to the 17000 according to our addition so dear student uh, mm, uh, the amount that we have added at the debit record we will put this at the mm, uh, so the right we will write down over here that it is a balance of uh, credit record now we will move towards the BD account payable BD account payable is having 50,000 and 5,000 at debit but having zero at credit so we should add 5,000 uh, on its credit record 
and we will put this 5000 in a circle and we will write for a uh, down over there that it is a balance of balance of debit record uh, and now we will um, sum of both the debit record amount and also the credit record amount so when we add the debit, debit record amount it is equal to 5000 and when we add the credit record amount it is also equal to 5000 now we will move towards the juni brow account payable juni brow account payable is having 6000 at debit but having zero balance at credit side so again it is our job to add 6000 on its credit side now we will make both the side equal so this is equal to uh, 6000 rupees 6000 rupees and it is also its credit side is also equal to 6000 rupees 6000 rupees so this is the juni brow account payable amount but we had a lack of 6000 at credit side that's why we will write down over here that uh, balance of uh, debit record mm, along with this dear students we have like for example uh, 5000 at debit side of goods ledger but we have zero amount at the credit side so here we will add 5000 too so this is our 5000 that we have added to our goods account and uh, we will put this in a circle and we will write down over here um, as a balance of uh, balance of debit record so when we add both the side the amount is equal to um, 5000 debit record and uh, 5000 credit record so our credit and debit side both of them are equal with one another okay the machinery ledger is having 40000 at debit record but having zero at credit record so we should add 40000 over here too to make both the side equal we will put this 40000 that we have added into a circle and we will write down over here that it is our balance of debit record now we will add both the side debit record and credit record and we will find the total sum of these you see the total sum of this machinery ledger is equal to 40,000 40,000 debit record and also 40,000 40,000 credit record the last one is mm, the commission so the commission ledger is uh, having lack of uh, commission this is the commission account so it is having lack of 600 rupees so we will write down at debit side 600 we will put this 600 into a circle and we will write down here that it is uh, a balance of uh, um, credit record so when we add both the side so it is equal to 600 rupees and also it is equal to 600 rupees its credit side so both the debit side and credit side were equal to 600 rupees and the final um, is the dividend uh, ledger so the dividend ledger is having 9000 on its credit side but having zero amount at debit so you will add 9000 on its de uh, debit record and we will put them in that in a circle and we will write down over here that it is a balance of the credit record balance of credit record we will add both the side and so this is equal to 9000 and uh, also this is equal to 9000 nine so dear students uh, we have done uh, we have uh, prepared 
we have posted all the accounts which were available in general journal to our leisure accounts so ledger is the classified or condensed recording system where we will record um, all the we will post all the amount of the accounts which is available in general journal separately to each ledger and agronomist you know much so well that the ledger accounts for bar queue ledger is a classified or condensed recording a juda gana recording system they and the manga padi ki the journal ki chha accounts wala ru haga ledger ta muntaqil ko so kum account chikum title bhi paha maga title bandi mung juda ledger judo juda ya juda gana ledger judo aur the har ledger ta bia paha ga andaza bani ka amount pe debit ki debit ki record ko aur credit ki credit ki record ko गता सुवी नहीं नमक सरपति जनरल जोरनाल के द कैश ट्रांजैक्शन स्टडी द अकाउंट स्टडी द फर्नीचर अकाउंट स्टार मशीनरी स्टडी डिमेंट कैपिटल सो मुंग पामा का शकल बांध देता सुवी नहीं तो जैसे मुंग द कैश अकाउंट जो करें दे मुंग जिधे लाइक फॉर एग्जांपल द द फर्नीचर अकाउंट जो करें दे लाइक फॉर एग्जांपल मुंगे द मशीनरी अकाउंट जो करे दे पसेम तरीके वाले मुंग डिटेलमेंट लेजर अकाउंट जो करी दी हम दारंग गलत कता सो करे रेंट एक्सपेंसेस मुंग लरू मुंग चीजे सैलरी एक्सपेंसेस लरू सप्लाई एक्सपेंसेस लरू न हर यो द पारा मुंग द सप्लाई एक्सपेंसेस द पारा या द सैलरी एक्सपेंसेस द पार जुदा जुदा लेजर जो करी दी लेजर चीजे दायो टी शेपलरी या द टी पशकल माली जोड़ीगी चे चप तरफ ये द डिबिट साइड भी और फिर तरफ ये द क्रेडिट साइड भी कता सुनतो करे दायो टी शेप दे इन शकल द टीलरी चे फिर तरफ ये चप तरफ ये डिबिट दे और फिर तरफ ये क्रेडिट दे अब उमंस के दाख पले उठाए टीलरी चे हर अकाउंट दागे खुल नूम भी या लाइक फॉर एग्जांपल दल तो उसमें कैश ले रू दल तो उसमें फर्नीचर ले रू दल तो उसमें मशीन टीले रू सो दाहर ये चीजें जुदा जुदा अकाउंट द نو کچھ چرتا تھا سو گری کیش کے منگ سر دلتا پینزز پانزوز دور روپی دی پر ڈیبیٹ سائٹ کی نو منگ ہم داغا اماؤنٹ واخست لو او چرتا موی اڑو لو دا کیش لیجر تا موی اڑو لو او پر ڈیبیٹ سائٹ کے موسو کلو ریکارڈ کلو سو پام دی طرقے سرا ٹول حقا اکاؤنٹ سی دلتا موجود دی دا دیز نے منگ اخلو دا خپل اکاؤنٹ دا ٹائٹل دلان دی کہ پر ڈیبیٹ کیوئے پر ڈیبیٹ کالم کی ریکارڈ کو چه کلا مونگ ده ده طوری پروسی نتیر شو نو بیا مونگا ده دوارو ترپونو ترمنس آقا موازینه جوڑو یا دوار ترپونو سر مساوی کهو پا هر طرف که چه سمر اماؤنٹ کم وی آقا اماؤنٹ التلیکو او ارتلیکو چه دیز که دومر اماؤنٹ کمو او ده اماؤنٹ پا حقا بل سایت که چه ده ایسا پا ده اگه که مونگ تا سو گرو دل تا کش مونگا لرو ویش زرا یا وول زرا پین سلیخ زرا چه ده طرف دا دی بیٹ ریکارڈ پر نسبت بانی اضافہ تر دے نو منگ اول ہم دا غچم اکرو لو نو منگ چی کل دا غچم اکرو دا مساوی دا دریات یزارہ ہر ڈالر ہوئے اب وانے ہو سر شو نو منگ دا دریات یزارہ دا کریڈٹ سائیڈ جم اکرو پر دی بیٹ مو ہم دریات یزارہ اور سر مساوی شکل باندی ہو لی کلو نو دیدہ پارا چی دا دریات یزارہ اس پروف کرو اندل تا منگا یو اماؤنٹ اضافہ کرو لو دا دری زرہ سالور سو پاندہ زبان دے چی دا دیز کے اگا تفاوت ہو یا ڈیفرنس ہو اب بیا مورتو ہو لیکل چی دا تفاوت دا کم سائیڈ دے دا کریڈیٹ سائیڈ دے یعنی مانا کریڈیٹ سائیڈ دوم رئی سا پتر دے ہم دارا ہم کے تاس ہو گوری دا فرنیچر اکاؤنٹ دا نو ڈیبیٹ کے منگ الڈی لازر روپوی لارے لے وہ دا لازر روپوی منگ دیز گور سر نوری ہم ایٹ کلے تر سو دوار سائیڈ ریکارٹ ہم دارنگی مشین ریتا ہم دارنگی نو ہر یو اکاؤنٹ کے باید تاسو آگا ڈیفرنس یا تفاوت پیدا کرئی او آگا باید پا یو دائرہ کی ہو لکھئی او ارتو ہو لکھئی چیزا دا کم طرف بیلنس دے سو دیا سوینس آئی ہوپ دیت یو ہیف انڈرسٹین اباؤٹ دی پوسٹنگ ٹرانزیکشن فرم جنرل جورنل تو لیجر اکاؤنٹس اب یو ہیف اینی قویشن دو نات ہیزیٹیٹ تو آس می پلیز which is 078-55-876-616 this is my whatsapp number if you have any comment suggestion or question do not hesitate to ask me so thank you i wish you a very happy and successful life in future and may allah bless you thank you have a good day assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh